day from Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia. It's week nine of the NFL on EA Sports. Expressway and east of Broad Street, we find ourselves at Lincoln Financial Field in South Philly. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Los Angeles Chargers and the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you look at this Eagles team as they interplay here. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Chargers, they've certainly found their groove of late, winners of five in a row. And I think the sky's the limit for this team. They're playing the best football that they've played in a long time. The first and down, what will the final two bring us as we're off in week nine? And he won't quite make it to the 25. The Chargers take over. So here's the Charger offense making their way out. And a quarterback from the University of Oregon, it's Justin Herbert. After seeing what he did last week, throwing four touchdown passes, I had to go to my thesaurus to try and come up with some great words for what he did. I'm still coming up blank. He was scintillating. I'm, I'm going simple. I don't, I don't have your thesaurus. I'm going dynamite. He was dynamite. I'll take it. Time with Austin Eckler. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. He was brought down at the 26. A gain of two brings up second and eight. A shotgun snap for Herbert, and this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. And up to the 35 before they're able to knock him down. It's a first down on a gain of 10. First down, Los Angeles. Herbert now on the screen. This is Eckler. Not much there, only a yard. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner, everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. Four yards on the pickup, and it'll be third down. That's the mismatch that you want. You want to force a linebacker to try and cover your back out of the backfield, out in some open space. But linebackers nowadays, they run like backs, and they take a lot of pride in covering. What a nice play he made there in the open field. A gain of nine They get nine yards there, and they get a first down. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And across the midfield, stripe into Eagle territory. He's across midfield. Demario Davis there on the stop. Three yards on that last carry. Here's second and seven. Out of the gun, Herbert. That's into the hands of Eckler. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 11 yards there, first down. First down, Chargers. Here's the first carry for Northwestern's Justin Jackson. And this time they were waiting for him as he'll be knocked down before he can get back to the line of scrimmage. Two yards the loss, second and 12. Second and 12 at the Eagles' 39-yard line. On second down, here's Herbert. Caught left side, Williams. The reception good for seven. It's third down. And a good sign for them right now to have their young quarterback looking confident on the opening drive. Now, we haven't met a young quarterback, a veteran quarterback. It doesn't matter. We haven't met a quarterback yet that doesn't tell us he's confident about his abilities, right? That's true. But when you're young, get off to a good start because it does build up that confidence that allows him to play better as the game goes on. Especially crucial here on the road. 
Running on first down, Eckler. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. It'll be a pickup of 10 yards. And that'll bring up a second in just about a few inches here. On the pickup. It's second and inches. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he's going to be brought down just shy of the five at the six. The six yards on the pickup, and it leaves him with a first and goal. A terrific opening drive has them knocking on the door. First and goal. And that's going to be knocked away in the end zone. It's incomplete. The linebacker, C.J. Mosley, there in coverage. Brings up second and goal. On second down, Eckler. And he stopped immediately there. It'll go as no gain on the play. And now they're looking at a third and goal. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, and now it's put up or shut up. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Fourth down now looming after Philly's defense stands tall in coverage. Well, so a drive that spans all that time, and yet you may only come away with three points here. Well, your defense, all right, they actually like these long drives. They get to rest over on the sidelines for a while. But when points in terms of touchdowns, that's frustrating. They've got to figure out how to close out these long drives and get sixes instead of threes. Badgley able to knock this one through, and the Chargers grab themselves a 3-0 lead. Well, after marching down the field, only getting three there, kind of feels like a win for the defense. And it does. They'll go to the sideline feeling a lot better that they didn't give up a touchdown after the march against them. But if I were the offense, I wouldn't hang my head over that one. That's a good drive, and three points were put on the board. So here come the Eagles for their initial possession of the game. And a glance here at the man calling the plays under center, their 6'4 quarterback. And you've got to think that they've got to be feeling pretty fresh. You know, coming off of the open week, didn't have to play, right? Gives them a chance to rest up a little bit, heal some of those aches and pains, and excited about playing again. That really rekindles things a little bit. I want to see how they come out and establish themselves here early. And that bye week coming right where they want it in the middle of the schedule. A running play on first down will get four up to the 29. Well, on every play call, you realize it's not going to go for a touchdown. So a lot of your calls are setting things up for maybe later in the game. Trying to establish the inside run, run with toughness now. Hopefully get to the perimeter later. And let's face it, you could do worse than a four-yard run on first down. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back. Complete. Good for an eagle. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Trying to keep smoking. Another big hitter there. This one good for 18. Good job there to locate his tight end, Charles, in the middle of the field. Yeah, he has good pass-catching abilities, and if they're able to continue to find him here in the early going, I think it'll help out his teammates out on the perimeter. You can take the big shots later if he occupies their attention. And he's able to carve out about six there, down to the 37. And now time is called as we've got an injured charger down there on the field. We'll check on his status when we get back. The last run got six, now second and four. Again, they'll throw with Brady. Crowder's got it over the middle. And he's brought to the ground with another first down at the Chargers' 27-yard line. Give him 10 yards there as this offense is on a roll. This drive continues to plunge forward, counting down toward the midway point in quarter one. They will run for the first time with Miles Sanders. And they are able to stop him, but he does take it all the way to the two. Good yardage as he rumbles for 24 and a first. It's a big plays in the passing game on this drive. And here's one out of the running game. So the passing game loosening things up. Now there's room to roam. They've got three tight ends here on first and goal to add some extra mass. Out. 
They're going to run this with a tight end. And he'll get him a bit closer as he's down to the two-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup there. Second and goal. From the two now, second and goal. Second and goal at the two-yard line. They'll try to run with Sanders. And they will stop him after a fairly minimal pickup. Calling a gain of a yard as they get a little bit closer here. It's third and goal. Two straight shots on the ground. Now on third, do you go to the air? I think the possibility exists, and if you're doing it, you're probably going play action since you ran it twice. But I often think that second down is a time you go play action and throw the ball. I say commit to the run and think about it being four down territory. They'll look to throw on third and goal. The Charger D making things difficult, and it's fourth down. Intended for they really had a good drive going there, but a nice recovery by the defense these past few downs, able to knock that one away on third down and bring up what I think for the offense, an unexpected fourth down here. The kick by Elliott is good, and that will tie us at 3-3. Three, three. Three, three. So matching field goals on our opening two drives. Yeah, it feels like two bad here when we're going to go into the game, right? Exchanging some jabs, but none of the heavy stuff just yet. And able to get this out to the 25. Take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And Charles, if the season ended today, and it's not going to, we still have December yeah, left. We're only in November. Uh, but they would be a wild card team. And that's great. They'd be in the playoffs, but you know they're trying to bump up to be one of those division leaders. That guarantees you at least one home game in the playoffs, and that's what you're really seeking. But there also isn't much margin for error for this team, right? Because right where they're sitting, a two-game losing streak could have them out of the playoffs, so they've got to make sure they continue to keep the momentum going. Absolutely. There's some sharks smelling blood in the water behind them. On first down, Justin Herbert. Eagle pressure too much this time. Down he goes. Brandon Graham in there to get him, and that is sack number six now for him on the year. Boy, he came in off the edge so quickly there. Look out, because that's exactly what it was being shouted by the offensive lineman to his quarterback because he had no chance to block it. And boy, that one drops in complete, but if he was hit a fraction sooner, it may have been a fumble. They're bringing a lot of pressure here already in the first quarter. Already sacked him once. Now they get in there and knock another one away. You think maybe that tough rule of being gone makes defenses a lot bolder? Yes, indeed. That time, lucky that the arm was going forward, incomplete pass. And he'll be brought down just shy of midfield at the 49-yard line. A heck of a play there on third down, but amazingly, they're still short for fourth. One of the money routes for any offense, the drag route. So tough to defend because the receiver can stop at any point and make himself available to the quarterback and get a completion. But I love the communication we saw there. All the defenders pointing out the receiver, where he was going, and then they're able to rally to the ball after the catch and stop him short of a first down. So back onto the field, here come the Eagles for their second drive. And you know, it's certainly a lot of football left to play. We're not into December yet, but right now where we stand, they're in first place in their division, looking really good and looking to be a threat come January. And are you one of those early holiday shoppers, partner? Are you one of those guys get your list done? Because I think about what every team has on their holiday shopping list right now. What's the number one goal? Make the playoffs. Number two, win your division. Number Number three, and I think the biggest goal of all, try to get the number one seed so you get that first round by and ensure you don't have to go anywhere in January and hopefully get to the Super Bowl that way. And way up past the 35 before he's taken down. Good yardage after the catch. Is that play good for 30 and a first? He was not the primary target. They expected to get the ball downfield. Instead, checked it down. An old coach of mine used to say to us all the time, when they check it down, that should end the down. In this case, though, he foiled that in a big way and turned it into a big play. On first and 10, it's Hurts. And nearly picked off there, almost intercepted. Instead, second down. Intended for Jamison Crowder, incomplete. Brings up second and 10. Stepping up, he's going to keep it. 
12 yards there and a first down. That's good for an Eagles. First and 10 at the 49-yard line. From the gun, it's Brady. Sanders has it over the middle. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. It's a gain of nine yards. And it'll be second and about a yard to go for the first. The 42-yard line. Fournette running out of the gun. And he'll be close to a first down at the Chargers 36. It'll go as a gain of six that time, and it moves the chains as well. They were not fooling around at all, were they? Second and short, and they brought out the heavy package. Almost felt like the super heavy package against that defense, didn't it? Yeah, I don't think they expected that much beef up front, and it turned into an easy first down conversion. Now a play fake, Brady. That going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. That's what you're going to need to do against those big receivers. you got to get in there and get physical with them. That time he got in close, got in tight, and knocked the ball away. And he'll be taken down at the 33, a pickup of about four. That second down play call was not to pick up the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get him into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. Throwing his Brady on third down. And he fires one, but incomplete. Brady. And what would the dive look that time on defense? Just flooded the field with defensive backs, blanketed everyone, took away all the passing angles, thus the incompletion. And this is off the left upright. And it comes back. It's no good. And in this first quarter of play, this will remain a tie ball game. The Charger drive about to get going and hoping to do better than they did their last possession when they punted the football. Appeal to the vanity of your offensive line. Tell them that they control your fate. Leverage guys. Win the line of scrimmage. If you do that, you start to win first down. You win second down. And guess what? You start accumulating first downs. And that's what they need in order to not punt the ball again. It's second and eight. Here's Herbert down on second down. And that'll be incomplete. Took a pretty good shot as he tried to pull that one in. Couldn't hang on third down. Going to throw on third down. We got it. Out on the left side. And he is going to have the Chargers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Herbert hooking up with Henry that time for the Charger first. That's a staple of this offense. Drag route to the tight end. Yeah, he's unable to use his size to break off much more yardage after the catch, but still an effective gain nonetheless. That throw into the arms of Allen. And he is tackled inside the 40, not quite to the 35. That one good for 13 and a Charger first. First down, Chargers. 3-3, a tight one 